Hello, hello. Uh, it's a very nice morning here in the UK. Well, it is where I am. Um, I wanted to do some crafting at last, where I'm not crafting in between moving things around. So um, I'm trying to use up scraps and bits and pieces. This is hugely inspired by the 100 day project everyone is doing at the moment. Um, also, Jessica Rapp. Um, I'm going to be doing some collaging and also the lovely Gail. Um, Gail has some awesome um, linens out at the minute and I just wanted to play with these because they are absolutely gorgeous. Now these are four pages but I've printed four pages on a sheet because um, I don't, I'm going to work on smaller things today so I want to use those. Um, have I already shown you these? I have some bits of file folder that are cut up. They're not, none of them are the same size. They're all, well, they're fairly similar. Um, but bits and pieces like that. I have some packaging and this is using the packaging is certainly inspired by Jessica and from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And also I have my... Um, box of scraps pages and junk and bits of kit and music paper and this I need to reduce this it's just there's too much too much in here so I need to reduce this so I'm going to be pulling out of that I also have a whole heap of kind of bits of trim and bits of lace and stuff that hasn't really it's not big enough to use for anything other than you know tags and things like that so I wanted to use some of those up and of course I have to use some of the million stickers that I have I found this which I've obviously been keeping because it was really pretty it was a little book that came free with a Daphne's diary way back I don't know when um, but you know maybe some of this will go with Gail's kit so that might come in handy so um yeah i have no plan other than just get rid of some stuff so i'm going to just start by grabbing one of these and the back is quite smooth um not smooth it's got a, a porous surface so it's probably okay to write on uh, i don't want this bit i don't think so i'm just going to trim that off very quickly okay and let's work on two at once so I'm just going to trim that down too okay so I've got two of these I've got Prit stick and I've got Fabri-Tac and I just have to show you something I know this is not craft related and you're probably not interested but um, my beautiful friend sent me two Pandora beads um, this one excuse all my cat scratches this one to remind me of a cat's eye which is for Luna and this beautiful beautiful can you see the heart in there and the inscription says friendship starts with a loving heart um, I think that might have been the cat but I know the cat's okay because she's just come tearing down the stairs so um, someone will sort that out okay right there's me saying to the kids kids I'm gonna do a video and it's the cat that causes the problems okay um book page let's see what we've got uh da -da. right I do have quite a lot I've got some oh look at that dictionary page it says trim how perfect right I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna use that um I'm just gonna start I think just make a start um I think probably half that size uh, i'm gonna leave it slightly longer this is a kind of jessica technique she leaves it slightly longer and then um i kept this piece out for some for gluing i've got little off cuts from my my table covering okay so i'm just gonna stick that i imagine we're gonna get quite a lot of glue everywhere to be fair because um 
we're leaving all the bits hanging off well I am anyway so yeah I haven't heard any any clearing up going on up there I expect they're all leaving whatever it was that fell on the floor <laughs> um, I expect they're all leaving that to uh, maybe sort out when I've finished okay I've got these I might use that over the top this came from the lovely Kerry and I also have I've got lots of scraps of the um, floral book that's handy because that's the right way up oh, let's use that the, I'll get the pink and the oh would I get both pink yeah I might get both pinks and both bits of yellow in and I need one going the other way I don't think they are I don't think any of them are so what I'm going to do is sorry I just need to keep my screen alive so I can make sure I'm in I'm in frame okay so I think I might have a little little strip there um, and then we're obviously going to start using some of Gail's this too actually it's not quite long enough but that's okay sorry so she came scrapping that there scrapping it into there oh well okay so let's carry on it's just having a conversation about the cat it's just broken <clears throat> she's broken my my vintage mirrors Oh well, what are you going to do? Cats. <laughs> okay, I'm just having a quick look to see if there's anything else in here. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. Again, it's not very long. So what I might have to do is, I think I'm going to glue this down first and then I'm going to come back to that piece. Because it's really the, it's really the doilies that I want to get, get working with. Okay. So, yeah, we have everything's stuck down so I'm just going to trim around here it's still obviously the glue is still quite wet but these are what I call my messy scissors so I tend to I'm on the lookout for a really decent pair of long long scissors so if anyone could recommend a pair So now I can actually add this and then I'll trim to the top, I think, of that one. Okay, I'm using this gorgeous paper. I hope I can find one of Gail's doilies that will actually work with this. Okay, so that's one. Uh, let's I can actually... there and th I'm not speed collaging now not like when I did the challenge so I'm um, taking it a little bit slower I'm not in such a rush I hope you're not either oh I've stuck that in the wrong place needs to that needs to go over here <laughs> to cover that gap and this piece I'm not inking everything I'm, I'll ink the final pieces I have got my sewing machine at the ready I'm not sure if I will do any sewing but we'll we'll see okay so I'm just gonna I'm only gonna trim these two sides because I'm gonna lop the top off this one okay. right 
right. There are, I'm really struggling. I don't know about everybody else, but with all of the um, the, the hundred day challenge videos that are going up, I just cannot keep up with what everyone's doing. I'm really, really struggling to to stay on top of my YouTube watching. Okay, I'm just going to trim the tops of these. I'm not bringing. I'm not bringing the trimmer in because it's kind of nicely set up beside me, and um, it does take up a lot of room on my desk, so it's nice to have it out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac just to catch those little edges that I, I missed. I'm not going to try and go back in with a glue stick because I tend to get it everywhere if I do that. Okay, so the glue stick is wrinkling that paper slightly. Let's have a look at what we have. Oh, that just is perfect. That would work so well with that. Um, excuse me. Uh, oh, this this has got to have something a little bit yellow. I'm kind of liking that. Right, we're going to go for this one first. I'm just going to very roughly cut that. Now, I'm going to cut this into a straight line at this edge. The colours on these are just beautiful. Now, that's got quite a straight edge, so I'm just going to tear around. I think this is one that I might ink, actually, so it kind of stands out. People seem to be able to tear a lot quicker than I. I can. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that, but I do want to do a bit of inking. So, This is the colours are absolutely stunning, and I'm kind of ruining that a little bit with this with this ink. But I just feel like it's got a it's got to pop up a little bit from the page. This one, oh, yeah, I prefer that. I do prefer that. That's called. I'm gonna do that. Now I know I've heard um, Jessica say that she doesn't use um, the distress inks obviously because she rubs things with the baby wipe which um, I can't do anyway because I don't have a colour laser printer I use um, inkjet <coughs> so I can't use a baby wipe so to it's fine for me to use this. Now, I want a piece for this one. And I, I think this blue, I think that would work really well with this one. So I'm going to cut a straight line down here. And then I'm going to decide how I want to... That's got to come out. I'm going to have this little bit higher up because I think I'm going to put a label here. Yeah, so I'm not going to, I'm not kind of fussy cutting this, but I'm just getting a little bit closer to the edge because what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Tim Holtzy, Tim Holtzy thing and just and rough it up a bit. Just give it a little. I always have trouble doing this. The corners are just so difficult, aren't they? To get the corners in that, to hold it and put the corners in the 
the grooves. I suppose it's probably easier if you're using cardstock. I've printed these because I wanted an absolutely crisp image. So I've printed these onto Epson photo quality paper. Which I is my thin paper preference for printing colour digitals onto. I'm going to put that up there. I might have to do a little bit of trimming at the background. I like that. It is. I this. I think this is very Rachel and Jessica. Um, maybe more Rachel than the theme. I think the style is Jessica. But it's um, it's quite difficult when you're trying to use something you wouldn't normally use. I used Gail's trims before and I thought they were marvellous on my envelopes but it's um, colour. It's a bit scary for me. I don't do colour as well as a lot of other people do. Maybe that's because the colours I use suit my personality. <laughs> okay so I think these are ready for a sticker. A sticker or two so let's see what I have. I mean, what don't I have after this? Little... And thank you to everyone who's contacted me about purchasing stickers from Christina. And um, I've, I've been told by a lot of people that she's out of stock of certain things, but I'm, I'm really sorry, I can't help with that. But I'm sure um, she will restock her shop. Yeah, liking that one. Um, I don't know if I've got any more. That kind of tone, mushrooms. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, I love. I love it. I didn't actually buy these from. Um, these weren't included in my haul, and I, to be honest, I've had these a while. I couldn't tell you where I got them. I just wouldn't know. Right, I'm gonna. I've got my tiny little cork inker. I'm just going to ink around these stickers before I take them off. Um, so I haven't really done anything exciting recently. Um, looking forward to Easter, looking forward to Sunday. Nice, nice, nice lunch. I mean I do cook other days of the week obviously but it's quite nice, isn't it? Having having some family right now. I've lost my nail, so I'm hoping I can open these and not take. I'll cut this out, guys. If it's um, I'll just <laughs> if it takes me too long to open the envelope, I will I will edit the video, not the envelope, the sticker. It's taken all my concentration. Am I the only person in the world that really struggles getting stickers off the backs? I did get these from an Etsy store. I know I did, but I think it was just one pack of stickers. So I, uh, there was, you know, there was no haul video. <laughs> oh, blimey. Blimey. I'm sure... Finally, finally got that off. Very happy, very happy with that one. Let's see if this one's... Yay, this one's a bit quicker. <clears throat> I'm going to lift it up very slightly because I do want to sew around here. Right, see, two of my sticker stash. I've used two of my sticker stash. Um, I've got a little bit of a lift here and I'm not going to be able to get my... I'm not going to be able to get my Fabri-Tac in that. And here. Oh, this is what... 
do the video. I'm kind of, kind of rush a little bit, I think. That's why I do. <laughs> okay, well, I'm really quite happy with those. And I think I'm going to turn them into pockets, um, which will be be something we do shortly. And I think this might make make two tags possibly. <clears throat> so I have this. Um, it's a book on Mozart, and it's in German. There was a little discussion on my Facebook group the other day about um, a book. You know, the cover was gorgeous, but. This lady had bought it to gut it and then she couldn't bring herself to gut it once she got it home, which is completely understandable. Um, I don't have that problem. If I've bought a book to gut it, I gut it. I'm not, I'm not concerned at all. Um, a book is only worth what it's worth to you, I think. If you don't want to read it and you don't plan on selling it and you've bought it to make a journal from, then that's, that's what I do with it. <clears throat> but, um, you know, she was talking about the font being so pretty. Now, this is a very similar typeface. I don't like the word font. Um, yeah, this is a very similar type. type and um, this book was like a pound. So, you know, it's, it's nothing special. It's just a book on Mozart. Just a, one of the, you know, most amazing composers in the world ever. But... <laughs> It's a, uh, it's easy to get hold of. It's still in print. It's nothing. It's not an antique book. It's nothing um, that's going to cost a lot of money. So it's worth, it's worth looking around. I think it was, I think it was Amazon. It popped up while I was looking for something else. I'm not I'm not gonna be thinking about this page too much. I'm just gonna start whacking things on. Um what else have I got in here? Let's add a piece of oh, I've got some pages in here as well. Ah, oh, this is one of those kind of old music pages that rip a little bit on the weird side. It's nice to actually make my make my desk a mess. Looks used now. I'll make sure I get to the edges a little bit better on this piece. And stick that down. I'm going to use the baby one from there. I've got quite a lot of glue on there. There we go. So I've got a little, a little gap here in the middle. Um, maybe try and add a piece down the centre because I'm going to cut this in half. side Right, now I need a tiny piece of something just down here. That's quite nice. But I don't want anything that's going to... I want it to work with the... with the um, doilies. Because that is what I want to use the most today. <coughs> Oh, we're, we're kind of racking up the minutes on this video now. Oh, I tell you what I'm going to use. 
I'm going to use a bit of washi. Jessica is great at putting the right washi in the right place. Me, on the other hand, not so much. I'm not, not very good. Sorry, my screen's getting not very good with using washi. See, now I've already wrinkled that up. Let me get some glue on here because I don't trust washi. <clears throat> it's designed to be removable, isn't it? So I don't think it's going to... Okay. Mm, not sure. Not sure I'm liking this at the moment. Now, let's see what other... Uh, this is quite an old one. I've had this one quite a long time. Let's, um, let's go for it. <laughs> Let's not, not think about it too much and just do. Don't think, just do. Right. Okay. So this is obviously only a background, so I don't want to get too bogged down with it just at the moment. Got a massive piece coming up here. I really am not not good at doing this on film. I know I'm going to sew around there, but I still want it glued. And I've got a bubble. Okay, let's chop this down. Yeah, I uh, um I've seen people with really long bladed scissors and this kind of thing is much quicker so I don't want a pair I want it for paper I don't want them for I don't want them for, for fabric although I have got a pair of fabric scissors that are now mm, they've been used for all sorts of things so they're no good really for fabric okay so I'm not going to measure this but I'm just going to chop it in half roughly in half um, let's just go about there it's not even going to be half because I wanted some of that on there so it's not it's not half at all this one's yeah this one's bigger so now some of Gail's gorgeous it's so difficult to choose because these are so cute. I have oh, that. I quite like both of these. Right. Maybe that one on there. One of one of these. I haven't got the, I'm not really, right. I suppose if I don't, I was going to get my two, two, two inch circle punch out, but I think you'd lose a lot of the interest if you don't actually cut around the edge. Um, I'm, I suppose I should have done this beforehand. I'm not very quick at it. I can, I've seen Rachel before from Roxy Creations just, you know, whiz round, whiz round one of these. I will speed this bit up. Not my best cutting ever. It's such a pretty little doily though, to be fair. Okay. Very cute. Love the blues. Let's 
is really just a craft along, isn't it? Or not craft along. Just you do some you do some crafting and I'll do some crafting. And um, we're probably talking to ourselves, both of us, you and me. Um, the difference is I'm filming. <laughs> I'm filming me talking to myself. <laughs> Hopefully you, you guys are just crafted along and Oh, they saying that. To be fair, I actually do talk to myself even if the camera's not on. I think that's just habit because the camera, you know, if you're used to having the camera on. I've had a real kind of phobia. I don't know what's happened. The last kind of, uh, not just the last few months, you know, it just feels like it's so difficult for me at the moment to turn the camera on. And um, once I do, it's cool. It's all good. Now, I'm hoping the ink's not going to run too much, but I did get a huge amount of glue on there. Um, yeah, once I do, it's all fine, but it's just, just seems to be getting that camera rolling. It seems to be a bit difficult at the moment, which is not great when, you know, I'm trying to film a course, um, which is a very long time coming. <laughs> a very long time coming. <clears throat> This one is a little bit shiny on the back, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure these are going to be journaling cards anyway. So, okay. <clears throat> now I'm not sure about the larger stickers for this. Um, I think it's probably going to be a smaller, smaller stickers. I'm not sure mushrooms are the way to go. Me dig, I'm digging around in my tin. I could do with a, a longer, flatter tin, really, for this, rather than all. Oh, what have I got right at the bottom here? Wow, I didn't even know they were at the bottom of my tin. That one seems to have a wing cut off. And so does that one. So wherever I got these from, they were not the best quality stickers in the world. And I do think I've had, I must have had these a very long time. Must have had them forever. Not sure about that one. Oh, seems like we have a few blue stickers. That might be the way to go. Yeah, I think we'll go for the blue stickers, tie in, tie in the colours. Now, how long is it actually going to take me to get the back off these? I really do miss that nail. I, I cannot believe how difficult it is to do everything. This, these stickers feel a bit like washi tape. I'm gonna that's very difficult to see isn't it it's quite it's quite transparent the sticker that was probably not a good idea this one will probably be easier to see so that's a fail that's a big fat fail number one I'm gonna see if I can get that sticker off in a minute just get this one off the back See, those people that use stickers would know what kind of stickers you're going to see through and what kind of stickers you aren't. I should have known because this they do feel a bit like washi tape. Now that's actually handy because that comes off very easily. I'm going to glue it and I'm going to glue it onto that white paper. It's very squishy. Okay, so I'm now going to ink this. This is more, this is more fussy cut butterfly now than sticker, <laughs> but it's not going to be transparent, so don't see what's underneath it. Glue. That looks better. 
still not actually happy with that but I think part of that is the washi tape if I hadn't put that on if I hadn't put that on it would be it would be better this one I do like so what have we got I've got these two and then I have have these now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these I'm just going to see how big these are I'm going to use the bigger one I think Okay, I'm just going to stop the camera, have a little think, and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so I have made um, a little collaged folder. It was just out of one of the pieces of file folder that I had. And what I did um, was uh, place a piece of music paper down on each half and tore the edge. And then I've placed a book page underneath that little strip of fabric some of um, Gail's wonderful um, digis so I've sewn around that and I've also sewn around the cards because I didn't I didn't want this video to be way too long I need to put a piece of fabric tack under that um, I'm gonna have to reconsider the um, glue stick when I'm collaging I, I used fabric tack on all of this and it was it was slow so i haven't haven't got the video right so um the next step is i i kind of want to decorate this a little bit more now this will be the front panel so um i'm a little bit oh that's quite cute i'm i don't really do easter and rabbits and things that's but i have quite and i have this gorgeous dream catcher sticker which I have to use at some point but I think I'm gonna stick with the the mushroom theme and the toadstools because it's kind of how this has turned out now like I said I'm pretty sure I got these from seller on Etsy but um, I don't do a lot of haul videos on my Etsy stuff which maybe maybe I should but um, it's obviously quite a, quite a large pack <laughs> let's have a look so fairly fairly big something on the front I think I really like that and I really like this one too um, what did I use on the right I've already used that and I've already used that, so I'm not going to use those again. Let's put those away. Let's see. Um, it's quite cute, but I really do like this one and this one. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go for that because it's got a bit of red in it. So, so far I am using, using these stickers, now I need something there, and I need another one on the back, that is covering up quite a bit of, no, I have to go for a smaller one I think down here, okay. I think I'm happy with that. Now I also have I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pop those on at the end I think. I need to get the mushrooms down and the toadstools and see if I can open these a little bit more successfully than I did the last stickers and hope these stick I think this is 
the, the longest video I've ever made. Um, I've got, got a bit of editing to do. Let's pop that one there. It's kind of nice just to create and have the camera on, but I, um, I don't know. I find it difficult to talk about stuff and concentrate at the same time. The cat is sitting right there in front of me, watching. I'm not sure. She doesn't normally come near the camera. I think it's because we try to take so many photos of her. As soon as we get the camera out, she kind of does a runner. Looks the other way, as they do. But eventually she's probably going to just jump onto my desk. Just going to move my coffee in case. Right, it's off. Here she comes. Hello. <laughs> okay. She's just just literally off camera. Let me show you. <laughs> Just sitting, taking it in. Right, these are a little bit difficult because they're, you can't. Come and say hello. Come say hello. No. Just like, no, I know that camera's on. No. That's quite nice. What I'm going to do is, um, that's actually quite nice, but that's not a sticker. That was a sticker, like this one, and now it's not white anymore. Um, I was thinking that would go quite well because it was white. Uh, quite like this, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them so I can I can try it. I quite like that up there, and I might add another sticker in there. And I know these are really good stickers. These came from... I got these from Waterstones and what I'm going to do is pop another sticker in there. Let's go sticker mad. It seems I have so many I've got to use up. Um, I don't know if travel, oh that's quite nice. Okay, I like that one. So that's one. Do we want... I think I want a little label style sticker here. What does this say? Protect part. And this is the front, so I kind of feel like I need a sticker on the front, some kind of label. Looks like like that. I might stamp a word in there later. Maybe add. A second, yeah, a bit of layering, quite like that. And then there's just this last one to go, which I kind of need to add a label to now because I've got one on every. I like that. Um, this is these are one of the things that I've had for I don't know how long, but managed to find when I was having my sort out. Well, I, I'm quite happy with that. I quite like the way that looks. I like the mushrooms, I like the labels. Could have done with putting that one on a bit straighter. So I'm very, very simply going to add these as pockets. And at a later stage, we'll make some tags to go in it. Um, the only thing I want to do is maybe ink and do a bit of stamping here. 
So what I'm going to do is I've got my extra mat. This is very quick using the brush. I love it. I love it. I don't know. I can't remember. I, I think I've mentioned on a video who who used a makeup brush um, from the pound shop. I have a feeling. Oh, it actually, is it's definitely Nina Ribena. Um, and as soon as I saw Nina's video, I thought that's such a fantastic idea. And I did go out and buy a couple of um, a couple of makeup brushes from pound shop. So you know, a couple of quid, and they are perfect for blending. Love them. Love them. Right. So, stickers, um, stamping. Um, I now have a very convenient and easy to use tray, and I want my backgrounds. So, I'm going to get that one out, and I'm going to get this one out. These are both Tim Holtz. Um, this is entomology. This is from the entomology. And they are actually all clean. Because in my sort out, I cleaned all of my stamps. So proud of myself. Because they have got in a right old mess. Now, that's upside down. So I'm just going to... And I'm not... I'm not going to worry about getting things perfect. I just want a little bit of pattern. So I will clean that before I put that away. And that might be a lie. I might not clean it before I put it away. And this one is, um, I think this might actually have the name on, Urban Tapestry. Um, and I haven't used any of these except this one. I just love it. <laughs> so it was an expensive stamp set just for one stamp. I'm sure I'll get around to using the rest at some point. But I just think this is awesome. Just give it a little bit of texture. So, how much will be showing? I actually quite like it. I don't think I need anything else. Um, I'm going to make these little... Actually, I'll probably need... Yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I need to just take that. I'll use the script stamp. Um, just need to add a little bit down here where I'm going to have the gaps. I'm not what you call a precision stamper. Just stamp it and hope for the best. Um, just going to maybe pop a little bit of ink around here. Actually, is there? Makes a bit of a difference having the stitching, I think. Sorry, that's my daughter talking to the cat. <laughs> Just gonna glue ooh, my hand. Gonna glue my hand. But <laughs> try and glue around three edges of the of the pocket. So I'm quite pleased I've managed to use a piece of some packaging. It's not sticking very well. <laughs> I might have to hold it a second. It's quite um it's quite shiny on the back here. It's a uh... oh dear. Oh my days. Come on, stick. <laughs> it's just kind of curling up a little bit. in there look oh 
I've actually really enjoyed making this. Maybe shouldn't have. Oh, I was too late now. I was only going to do three, three. I was only going to do three sides of this one. But now it's a pocket. That one's sticking a little bit better than the other one did. Got glue there. And this file folder is. Um, this file folder stuff is quite bad. It actually will stick to everything. <laughs> so that glue will show probably. Never mind. Might have been good to print out some of Gail's trims to use too, as well as the doilies. They just work beautifully together and she has a huge selection now in her Etsy shop. Um, shop. Of course, I will be linking Gail's Etsy store below. Um, I just think they're so cute. They are really gorgeous. And getting me outside of my comfort zone using some bright colours. Thank you, Gail, for sending me these. I was just, I do really appreciate it and I will be using them again for sure. Right, this time I'm only going to glue the two edges, not three. So that's going to be a bit more of a tuck. Sorry, off screen. It's quite nice because I can actually have things laid out flat now, but I've got to remember that they're, even though I've got the space now to lay things out flat, they might not always be in camera. So I'm going to have to be very, very careful. And I'm filming. Okay, I don't think we're going to have time to make the, the the tags because I think you're probably all pretty sick of the sight of me now. But I think I'm quite pleased. That looks like it. That would make an awesome traveller's notebook cover, wouldn't it? Um, now, in this massive selection of stuff I have that I is just off cuts I have that would fold it wouldn't it I still feel like I want to do more to it I really do that's not very straight is it that sticker but this feels a bit a bit plain up here One of Gail's doilies. What's on the other side? Do you know, I quite like it. But I am going to tear off some of this and actually tear this the other way. Or not. I'm going to ink that bit. Think. Just feels like it needed a little something else. <laughs> right at the very end. That's the back. So if we've got that there, I know we've got a label down here, but I wonder if we could put another blue label at the top there to kind of balance that a little bit. Yeah, like that. Right. So now I've got two large pockets. I've got a flap. I've got a little little pocket. So I can make a few little bits and pieces to go in here. So I did come back <laughs> just to show you that how I finished it off. Um, I had a bit of a disaster. The sticker on the front was not straight and it kind of bugged me a little bit so I tried to take it off which of course ripped the paper underneath and that gorgeous doily so what I had to do was use another gorgeous doily 
um, and I put another sticker on which is not straight so I'm no better off at all so anyway that's that's now the front um, I didn't do anything else to the inside flaps um, but I did make some tags so I'm just going to quickly show you um, I've used another one of Gail's gorgeous doilies and I've put a toast all over that one I've just sewn up one side this one again another gorgeous um, doily layered with some toadstools and I've done a row of stitching on that this one a gorgeous doily which I couldn't cover up so I've just added a little sticker and then this one again same thing I've just popped a little sticker on there because I thought that worked quite well um, so I think what I probably should do is have those this way round no no they need to go that way round so yeah that's that's the finished finished folder and I just changed the um, the what do I call it the sari silk for the closure um, I found a longer longer piece it was um, just a piece that was in my drawer I haven't taken it off a new piece but I absolutely love these pockets I'm really pleased with those <laughs> Um, and I really like the trees and the toadstools on this side as well. I do love the cover, but I did I did prefer the, the gorgeous doily that I had on. So what I've done is just folded a piece of sari silk in half and made a loop. So just hold my thumb in there, wrap it round twice, and then just tuck it in that loop. And I, as you can see, I did not fold that in half at all because that doesn't work. So um, that's my little... Gale and toadstool project. Gale, uh, Gale and Gale doily and stickers. That's what that's what this is. Um, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you all again soon. Bye.